Hello everyone, sorry we haven't put a film up for a while but we have been working on the half track today. So we have been getting the side panels all ready. So it started with needle gunning, which as you can see got rid of all the rust around the edges. You can see the little marks. And then sanded and sprayed in primer first. So these ones have been in the shop blasting cabinet. And then we have managed to get green on them as well today. So they are kind of all over the place in the sunshine drying out. I'm going to take you through to the half track, excuse the mess. So here it is, still quite a lot of work to do. We're just kind of deciding on what to do with the front half, whether it needs complete shot blasting or whether we can just sand and paint, haven't quite decided yet. And then here is where the side panels will be going. Original fuel tank, which were in rubber. Jim has been doing loads of work on the interior, which he's gonna talk you through. I just take you round. Here we go, so Jim's gonna just talk you through. Some of these panels have come from elsewhere. Where did the panels come from? Uh, the panels were made by, um, by Gavin and uh, Daryl from Tay Restorations. Um, they made they they pressed all the, the seat panels up for me, and I welded them together to fit into the half track. It's had one fit in. Uh, we got most of it in, but it needs a second fit now with the hinges on properly. Um, then it'll be taken back out again and painted properly. So it's like an ongoing, you've got to keep putting it in and out just to... What happens sure with the floor? Um, well, the floor is a uh, checker plate here, and there's two lockers at the front and one in the middle. Um, that's the lids that were out on what you filmed just now. Um, when I bought the half track in 1999, the interior was incorrect. The chap that had restored it uh, did the best of his knowledge, but because back in those days there was no internet, um, you know, information wasn't very free, so it, it was okay, but I wanted it back as it should be. Um, and no fuel tank on this side? Uh, there will be a fuel tank, yeah, but it is, um, it split years ago, it started to leak, so I've never had to come in for years. But I'm either going to make um, a steel one pressed up, uh, or uh, stainless steel. Nice. Have a quick look inside. Oh, it looks like you need some new seats. I wonder where you can get those from. Well, yeah, <laughs> I took the seat out because it's, it wants clean up inside. The last time this was used was for the film Fury. And um, it's it's not been used since, so it wants to freshen up. This side isn't quite as bad as the other side. Still a bit of work to do. Some nice big rust bubbles that need to come out. Yeah, I'm going to cut that out of there. Cut this piece. And then uh, needle down the inside. Get rid of the rust and then let a piece back in again. Excellent. Keep posted for updates. Not a bad, um, not a bad day's work. <laughs> 